Hi guys, Todd here. Right, uh, I'm recording a, a vlog vape mail type thing today. Uh, I, I'm doing it just now because ugh, I want some time off at the weekend. Um, now, excuse the mess here, it's an absolute shithole, it really is. Uh, but, one thing I want to get out of here straight away. This is the H Cigar DNA 40 Watt Box Mod. And it has a name, which I've not even looked up yet. Um, it was sent on to me by the guys from vapegeek.co.uk. Uh, uh, it comes, it's the... Uh, what is it called? I can't even make it out now. The HB? The HB, the Heartbeat. By Evolve. I don't know. The HB DNA 40. It comes in a, in a box like this. Um, now, I'm sitting here. Vapor flask, DNA 40, uh, on the, the HB box here. Now, I know for a fact, take it as a, take it any way you want actually, because there's, and to a lot of you, I apologise um, for what I'm about to say next, but there's some right fanny boys out there um, that, ah, anyway, it's not worth getting into. I know for a fact that each cigar were supplied with a heap of DNA 40 chips. They did not come direct from Evolve themselves, they bought them from somewhere else. People can go to Evolve, mod makers, shops, stores and buy DNA 40 chips. Anybody can. Um, so. These people have bought a pile of chips and then sold them on to Evolve, uh, to each cigar. Now, each cigar are uh, a bunch of uh, clone humpers, in my opinion. Uh, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to review this because it's not a clone. It has got a genuine DNA 40 chip in it. I've... Actually, the vapor flask that I've got here is one of the first... DNA 40s, it doesn't have the Celsius and Fahrenheit on it, whereas uh, the DNA 40 that's in the, the HB box uh, does have a Celsius Fahrenheit chip in it. And it, they both set at the same temperatures, dual, uh, a dual nickel coil build in the, the Manta, and uh, I won't tell you what the resistance is and all that because I made it a little bit too low. Um, but so that's in that. That to be honest, that's me at 21, 27 watts, 420 Fahrenheit. I've got this set to. Pop it onto the other one. And let's have a blast at this. It's reading the exact same on both of them. It's giving the same resistance to the lot. Same up. Up. Exact same vape. Right. Um, now, as far as this goes, I'll just show you close-ups here. I mean, it's got all the DNA 40 functions. The, the only thing is, see this button here? I was a bit perplexed by the position of it. But I've got to admit that see when you're vaping with it, you hold it in your hand and my thumb's there. It's actually... Uh, rather than... There's something about... I mean, I like to vape with my thumb in the side, but there's something... It's not uncomfortable. It's actually... you just gripping it like that and just clicking with your thumb. So, yeah, I'm quite surprised by that. Um, got to open this door a wee bit. Let the, let the air flow in. Right, I'm going to uh, pop something else in this. I've been vaping away with this all day. This isn't a review, by the way. This is me. It's just arrived and I've been playing with it. Um, 
How do I get that airflow wide open? Sorry, um, I've got another new. Uh, somebody reviewed this already. I think somebody. I can't remember who. It's the. It's the. Oh my god. Uh, it's the. It's from Nature Vape. It's the. The, smock, vapor chaser. Um. So I have to excuse me, I'm just pushing buttons here. Uh, I've forgotten how to... Oh aye, that's right, you put it up to 600 and it goes off. That's it. So, um, anyway, what was I talking about? Ah, Muppet. Yeah, this thing. Uh, I've not even put my PC on yet. I think, is it, is it about 80 odd quid? No. I thought it was only about 70 odd quid and then I noticed on their site that it said that was not including um, VAT which I hate on sites, I must admit I do despise that um, uh, Leave this place, leave this page um, Did you watch the E-Leaf e -Leaf Ice Stick review? Um, Really nice little box mod. Really, really nice. Uh, I, I'm quite smitten with it. Um, and Ali, if you're watching this, I've wrapped it up already and it'll be winging its way to you. Um, I've got enough box mods to start up a company, so uh, I just. Regulated devices, right? Here we go. We're on the, the HB DNA 40. Ah, now hang on, they have on their, uh, ah, it's 89.99 including VAT, but they have an excluding VAT price as well. So, there we go, um, a DNA 40, genuine DNA 40, um, it's got a magnetic back on it, just peels off like that. Uh, the polarities are different, so if you try putting it on that way, it won't go. Put it on that way, and it will go. Uh, I've actually, I've already voided the warranty on mine um, because I thought you guys might want to see this. Now hopefully this will focus here. Focus Daniel San. Um, so there you go, there's a chip. How tidy is that? I mean seriously, how tidy is that? Uh, so yeah, vent in the bottom, uh, it's got an adjustable copper, uh, I'm sure it's copper, looks copper, uh, copper 510 pin adjustable there, and I've had no issues putting any batteries in it at all. Um, that wee plastic cover's got a, a sticker on it, so if you take that sticker off you've void your warranty, but yeah, I've got to say that it's actually very, very tidy in there. Uh, as far as the box mod goes itself, it's pretty soulless. It's nothing... Who was it that said? It looks like an old cassette player, an old cassette tape. Uh, the other thing is, the, the glass that they've put in it is smoked. Um, so that's the only thing I wasn't too impressed about. It, it's bright enough in here, but... Outside in the daylight, it's quite hard to see, especially when I... Yeah, it's, they've put it behind a bit of smoke perspex, which is pretty stupid in my opinion. It would have been better if it had been totally clear, but... Anyway, so this is me at 27 watt. Moving on, uh, just before I finish. Yeah, if, if you're interested in a DNA 40 device, it's got a USB charge point in the side. Uh, single 18650, blah de blah de blah and uh, the, in the day I've had it 
running uh, my Uber 2 on it at uh, 15, no 14 watts and then coming home tonight and running uh, my nickel build on it comparing it to a vapor flask it's a genuine DNA 40 okay this however came from nature vape this is the smock VCT uh, the vapor chaser tank <laughs> I quite like that name um, However, I do have one of Mark's from Nature Vape. He's done his own. I'm not using the standard coil. I'm using uh, one of his. He's rebuilt. If you know Nature Vape, they sell. Started over a year. They started a year ago now. Uh, uh, recoiling Kanger heads with micro coils and cotton. And in a year, they've just pff, taken off. Um, so I'm using one of his own coils inside it and I'm at 27 watts <coughs> I'm using their own custard, he sent on some of his own custard which is somewhere, not sure where which is actually quite nice at, but not at this wattage, that's just Um, obviously this just arrived today as well um, I can't give you a full review of it as such what I will say is that well, you'll hear the airflow yourself wider the airflow than the Atlantis definitely wider than the Atlantis and flavour wise with the coil that I'm using I mean it's a 1.3 ohm coil is beautiful, really nice. Uh, so that came from Nature Vape from Mark, Marky Boy. Uh, I need a dripper. Let's pop on my Resurrection. I'm going to put this on this DNA 40 HB. So that's a 0 0.7 ohm coil. Let's whap it up. All the way to 40. Yep, that'll do it. Uh, pop some juice in here. Uh, oh! Not only have I just shown you something from each cigar, I've also been shopping in Fast Tech again. I got these bottles. Uh, I just saw them and fancied them. Um, and, you know, they come with little needle tops, holds 30, you get 15mm and 30mm ones. I got the, these ones. And I don't know what it is about it. But I really like them. I, I really like carrying these about more than a little short dumpy 30mm one. Um, and it just... I don't know. The only thing is, uh, and... Well, it's from Fast Tech. Um, I mean, I th honestly, I think for a pack of five it costs like... Um, two hamsters and a peanut. Um, I No, actually, it was something like two dollars, it's just something ridiculously cheap um, when you put it like that uh, don't squeeze too hard or the cap at the end will pop off uh, so you got to be just squeeze gently um, so yeah they arrived uh, right let's have uh, f I just had a mouthful of juice. Oh, you dirty bugger. Do you spit or swallow? I swallowed. No surprise there then. <laughs> Shut up. Um, 
going to have another blast in this. Oh, that's the Uber Toot drip tip. That actually looks quite smart on that. Peachy fields. Yum, 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 yum. Uh, right. So, there we go. What am I doing out here again? That's right, I'm doing a vlog and vape mail and shit like that. Uh, <laughs> I'm losing it. There's just so much shit here, I don't know what to say. Um, right, if I haven't shown you this already, let's just show you this again. This is the Jester. Juicy Vaporium. Um, thanks to the, the lovely ladies uh, there, they sent this on to me. This is by Third Degree. This is a dual 26650 box mod. Uh, mechanical, fully mechanical, dual 26650s and 3D engraving going on there and it's just... Ouch! Heavy. Um, that's brilliant. I absolutely adore it. Heavy as hell. Really heavy. Um, I forgot the... Uh... Bye bye. Back again. Uh, I do have scales here. With two batteries in it. It is 15.1... Can't make that out. Bit of dust on that. That's ounces. Grams. Okay. 427 grams this weighs. With two batteries in it. <laughs> uh, I'll stick the my, my Uber Toot on it. Did I tell you how much I love the Uber Toot? I love the Uber Toot. There it is with the Uber Toot on it. Sometimes vaping is just brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, right, so I told you about that. Uh, I've still been vaping away with this uh, Erlthron. I can't, I can't remember what it's called now. Uh, that I meant to say that you know I don't have you don't have to vape it with uh, the tank cover thing on it. You can vape it as a five ten. You, know, you get a. You can unscrew that. And put that on it. So that's standard 510. Um, and that, believe it or not, but I'm actually going to do this just now. That's an 18650 in there. Yes, it is. 18650. And it is 83 millimeters in height. That is quite small for an 18650 mod. What else have I got here just now? There it is, the Celt. You know, it's quite a bit smaller. And considering the button in this, I mean, it's quite a funky button. Um, I'll take that out of there. I do like the bob. Earl Koenig in. Errol Koenigan, uh, I do like it. So that's it, just without the tank, just... It still looks like a space rocket, but... The flavour from that wee thing is stellar. Absolutely stellar. Um, now, what else will I show you? What else have I been vaping with? I'll tell you what I've been vaping with. Uh, no. Nope. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Sorry, guys. Um, what, what have I done with it? Oh, I'll show you that in a second. Uh, I'll 
I'll show you this first. Now, I can't even remember the name of this. This is the new one by Peter K. This is the Fusion, uh, and this is it in 18500 mode just now. And this is such a geek fest. This is so geeky, this thing. It is incredible. This is going to be the bane of my life, this review, because this is not just a case of chucking a wick in it and just saying, yep, yeah, here it goes, fires, vapes great, smashing, catch you later guys. You know, it's none of that. This is going to be a lot of time spent on this one because it, there's so many adjustments you can make in this. If you, if you want to just fanny about to your heart's content, then this thing is amazing. Um, it's got the buttons, got like a little screw in it for a vacuum you can adjust the vacuum in it so that you can adjust the length of the throw how the th how the switch feels going in and how long it takes to come back out uh, you can adjust it so many ways uh, you can convert it to a dripper um, you can run it single coil dual coil uh, it's got an adjustable drip tip you can actually push the drip tip down and it changes the size of the chamber and the flavour from it, I'll tell you what, I'm always conscious of, you know, younger people sitting watching this, so I'm, what I'm, I'm going to try to stop swearing from now on, uh, because it's pretty irresponsible of me, but it is. The flavour from this thing is stellar. Um, I, I honestly, I put my goose juice in this earlier on. Uh, built it last night, and then I rebuilt it with a jewel coil today, and I've never ever tasted my goose juice as nice as it is in this and I don't say that lightly that the flavour out of this was just amazing amazing thing it's going to be a while before I review it though uh, because I, I've just not got the time just now um, right what else was I going to show you so that's the Fusion by Petter K and I do believe that Carol is selling it at uh, vapus.net and thank you to uh, Damien for sending it on cheers buddy uh, hello dog where have you been? you've been up to no good haven't you? he's in, he's in the huff because he got washed today when I was at work and uh, he, yeah you can growl at me all you like he got taken down to uh, Perfect Pets, which is just down the bottom of the road. Uh, yeah, give him a wee trim every once in a while. And uh, he got out of the car, the car, one look at where he was going and took a fit, as in through a wobbly, like a, a two-year-old going to the dentist's. Um, so I've had to reschedule his dog. <laughs> Um, his, his visit to get his hair cut. This is what else I've been vaping on. Meccano Mods, this is the special edition one with a K1 V4 uh, 18500 with a Kick 2 in it. The Meccano is still one of my favourite devices uh, of last year and I love it with a passion, I really do. Um, once again, the, the only bugbear I've got with it is that auto-adjusting auto firing pin on it. Uh, I mean, that's it. Stop working. Because I've moved it and it does this to me all the time. So I have to unscrew this. Now, I'll have to unscrew it and I'll have to adjust the pin up and put it back down. It's annoying as hell, annoying as hell.
which is a shame because other than that it's perfect. Uh, right, what else? We're getting there. We're getting there. Um, another shout out for uh, Nature Vape. Now, let's go back in time. Carto tanks. Yes, a carto tank. Um, this is the Loki and it's on my 69 mod, both by Atmel Mechani. Uh, and I'm, I'm using one of Nature Vape's uh, cartos in it. Um, basically, somewhere on this desk here, there is a, another one. Um, this is one of the, the super duper long ones. Uh, but you'll not, probably not be able to see it. But what he's done is he's, he's wick, you know, he can rebuild these ones. Um, I'm still have to figure out how to take them to bits. See, I've not actually played with it that much. Uh, I just whapped it into a locky tank, filled it full of juice, and away I went. But. I don't remember a cattle tank tasting like this. Do you know, it's, it's close to flavour. Uh, uh, like the diver or something like that. That's um, Charlie Noble's Poseidon's Peach. Once again from Juicy Vaporium. Um, the same. I didn't know it was coming, but they included that with the Jester. Um, if you have any old cattle tanks kicking about, do yourself a favour and go and buy one of Nature Vapes DCT cartos things and have a blast. Awesome. Awesome. Really is. Uh, so there's that. Right. Speaking of awesome, let's deal with some shit. <laughs> uh, that's not shit. I'm just going to mention this just now because I saw it on Safer Vapors, they were having the, the group, they were ripping the piss out of this mod. Um, which, and yes I might get hung drawn and the piss taken out of me for saying this, but I thought it was a bit rude. Um, you know, mod maker comes on, or a mod company comes on and says this is what we're building and everybody takes the piss out of it. Okay, it does look like this and I have shown you this before. Um, ah, anyway, uh, right, I have been using this, um, and the only thing, this is from, uh, can't remember, <laughs> see that's how respectful I am, I'm going to show you something, I don't know what it's called, it's called the home, Holmes, that's what it's called, Holmes, um, it's a 15 watt, you can adjust it up and down here. 15 watt device, it's air activated. The tank that's on it comes with it, it uses Kanger Jewel coils. Uh, you cannot use any other tank on it unless it draws its air from the bottom. Oh, oh I'll do that in a minute. Uh, and. Do you know, it is, it, it is nice to hold on to. It's not a pipe. It, I mean, they styled it like a pipe or, you know, a U-bend in the toilet, but it's Viper. It's made by Viper. I'm glad they wrote it on it. Um, and it is called the Holmes because it's written on the top. It's designed by VPR in New York and assembled in China. So, there we go. I've shown you this before. It's pretty uneventful to be perfect. It's a thousand milliamp hour battery that's in it. Not that you can get into the battery um, because it's you, you've got to charge it via an ego charger type thing, which is a bit of a pisser. Um, well, what I'm looking for, I'm looking for my uh, 
my Loki tank. My Loki tank should work in this. Because it takes its air from the bottom. So it should... I've not been able to use it with anything else. You suck! <laughs> Why is that not working? If I shut that down, will that? No, that's not going to make any difference. I hate this thing. I really do. No, I do. I'm being honest now. Listen, if this had been, you know, a battery that you could change out, um, if it wasn't air activated, uh, then it wouldn't greet me quite as badly as it does. Uh, it just... not be... <sighs> it's not shit. It just could be a lot better. I think if, you, if you're going to... I mean, they, they made a big spiel about, you know, designing it and all this work. They're just a small company and all that. I get that. That's fine. You know, they're just a start-up company. Uh, and yes, I can see this selling well at Christmas time, uh, but that's about it. I, ca I can't, I can't see anybody else going out and buying this. Other than then, it was somebody that didn't know about electronic cigarettes and wanted to buy something for their dad for Christmas. That's about the category this fits into. I'm afraid it's just well, it lights up blue when you inhale. Do you like that big puff of air there? That's 15 watts. That's a 10 second draw and this is a heavy VG liquid. Nah, it's shit. Sorry, it's shit. Don't buy this for anybody's Christmas. I'm sorry, just don't. Go back to the drawing board, guys, and step your game up a bit. Forget about the looks, the, the coolness of it, and, you know, functionality, and a little bit of looks as well. I don't like calling things shit, but it is a shit. Um, right. Speaking of other things that may fit into the shit category, might. I'm going to talk about the Camry 20. Uh, now, Van Dyke Vapes, uh, Fear of Fish, sent this on to me. This is the second one he sent on because it's got the recess connector. I've shown you this already. Now, I've had this on the scope and it is just... I haven't a clue what's going on. It's like disco lights. I mean, there's no rhyme or reason to where this board goes. Pulse width modulation, flatline, pulse width modulation, flatline. It's just all over the shop. It really is. My advice, if you go for the Camry 20, whilst I think it's, a, it's actually a lot sturdier and it actually feels a lot better built than the iStick 20. It really does. It feels a lot better. Even though it'll fire a 0.5 ohm coil, yes it will, and it goes up to 23 watts, but it's a DNA 20. Well, not a DNA 20, but a, a, a 20 watt board on it. Um, don't put anything on it under a watt, underneath one ohm. Please don't, because it just, it shouldn't. It shouldn't let you fire underneath. Uh, one ohm because it's really not capable of handling it uh, and it actually kind of scares me how it works uh, I've got my, my little bob uh, I've got to stop calling this bob and it's one ohm and I'll put this up to four point one volts how's that Right, 4.2 volts. It fires 
when it should fire. There's no rattlesnake noise off of it. I think it's a high frequency or a low frequency. I can't remember which. Um, and it's, you know, it takes. Looks okay with a 22mm device on it. Or 21. Uh, and you can charge it via USB. I would rather have this than the iStick 20. I'll say that much. I'll say that much. I'd rather have this than the iStick 20. Because the iStick 20 uh, board is, well, it's pretty shit as well, let's face facts. Um, just because of the way it feels and the way it looks, I prefer it over the iStick 20. The only thing, like I say, I do not like about this is the fact that it allows you to fire under 1 ohm when it's not really capable of dealing with anything under 1 ohm because the, the electronics just go fucking swore. They just go crazy. So... Above 1 ohm, quite like this. I do quite like this. Um, Van Dyke Vapes. Now, this weekend I shall be reviewing um, stuff. I'll be reviewing stuff. Uh, stuff that will mostly be this. The Dos Equus, Dos Equus, Dos Equus box mod, Dual 18650, uh, Mohican mods, Tomahawk mods, Mohican mods, no the mod's called the Tomahawk, that's what it is, I've got to review the Tomahawk as well, which is, is in amongst all this shit somewhere, or it was, I'm not quite sure, oh there it is, um, there it is, there's top cap. See, that's what I don't like about the nickel wire and the DNA 40. I had my my Manta set up and it was vaping on this. You know, this is the 18650 Tomahawk. Uh, actually, I'm going to show you an 18350 because it's so cute. Um, once you've set it up in a nickel build, that's it. You're kind of committed to using it with the DNA 40. So it's not like you can chop and change it oh. See, I'm moaning again. Such a moaning get. Some folk in that shop today just drive me up the wall. Um, just pop this in. That is so cute. It's like it's like somebody sat in your 18650 mod. A really big fat person like me. Um, what can I put in this? I'll put something nice on it. Um, Oh, I can use that. Can't show you this mod. Um, not allowed to show you that just now. And that's going to bug you. He's got something we don't know about. <laughs> I'll take the drip tip off just now. Look at that. <laughs> it's so small. <laughs> It's just so small, it's so wrong, it's just so wrong. Um, do you know, I haven't been using my 18350 mods a lot recently. Um, I don't know why. I really don't know why. But see, when you go back to an 18350, after a while, especially one as small as that, then it's just like, what the hell? Um, I mean, that's... Uh, I'll show you against. <laughs> I said the Hades V2. Yeah, a little mod. <laughs> we are compensating for something with these things. I'll be reviewing that this weekend as well. Um, and 
I have to be honest, I'm, I'm really not a huge fan of this Hades 2. Just, I don't know. You'll, you, I'll tell you about it in the review, but I'm just, it's just not gelling with me at all. Uh, it's not at all. Right, I'm running out of gear to show you now. Uh, thank God. Showing you that. Oh, there's that custom. Nature's Custard. Envy. Nature's Custard. It's alright, it's not, it's not the best custard I've ever come across, but it's not bad. It's not bad. Um, hello! Oh, you boy! Oh, 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 oh. oh you are so cosy down there too. <laughs> you are so cosy. Oh, he's roasting, toasty warm, toasty warm and stinky dog. You smell of shampoo and dog food. You do. You stink. Oh, you stink. Uh, right. Uh, I think that's it, guys. I've uh, done and said everything that I think I was to say and do. Um, shall we have a look at uh, Facebook and all that guff and see what's going on? Oh, right. Uh, I just want to say thank you to all the people that are bidding on my stuff on eBay. Uh, I'm just going to eBay just now. I did put up, after the last vlog, uh, do you know what, let's say I've got stuff here that whilst I use it a lot, it just it comes a point where I think somebody else would be better off with this. Uh, so I took all my Metal Madness Vapors MMV gear that I have. Um, so that was a TNS, an Over One, a Nanos and a Poldiac with every single tube size and every variation of tube colour under the sun. Um, and put it, it's going 100% of it's going to the Scottish Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, who are just up the road from me actually. Uh, and it's sitting at £272 just now, it's got three days to go. So I'm wi- Oi! Leave the batteries. Stop licking the batteries. Um, and I've also got a pile of other stuff up there, so... Hopefully, hopefully... Should, that should be about 600 700 quid will go to... Um, SSPCA. So, that's good. Um, what else? I think, uh, I see, I can't remember what I told you. I'm just clicking away here for the hell of it. Um, maybe that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That in February, that's about a grand uh, for charities, so that's. Uh, so that'll be, well, hopefully about £1,500 in February alone. Woohoo! Uh, so thank you to everybody. Um, right. Uh, who have I... Listen, I'll say this again, and, and I really, really mean this. Uh, if you have posted me an email, Facebook, or anything, and you do not get a reply from me within two or three days, email me or message me again uh, because it's sometimes it's hard to keep up and uh, I do lose track uh, of stuff so uh, just give me a shout and just say what you at, yeah, Muppet. Uh, right, so, so that's that. Um, Ah, that's it. I've got the feeling I've missed something, but 
it couldn't have been that important. And I've got a feeling the bat see the battery life on this video thing uh, with camera doesn't isn't long. Uh, so I can actually watch the bar going down and it's a right kick up the ass to get a move on. Uh, and it's 25 to 8. What the Fanny Adams? Jesus, wet man. You're in a shade talking to a camera for this long. Get a life. Get a life. Yeah, and that's another thing. Um, vaping's great, but don't get absorbed by it. Don't let it take over your life. Go and have sex. It's more fun than coiling. I have heard this is a fact. I'm not entirely sure, but it might be. Um... <laughs> and on that note, I'm going. Um, thank you all, and we shall catch you next time. Take care, guys. Bye now. <laughs> Bye. Uh, right.